I'm Karim Darwish. Um, I live in Egypt. I'm uh, 32 years old. Well, I started playing squash at the age of uh, seven. Uh, my elder brother uh, used to play first. He's uh, three years older than me, and uh, I used to go watch him uh, training at the club. And uh, I tried it once. I really liked the the idea of uh, of playing squash and uh, the idea of the game. And uh, since then, uh, squash is my my whole life. Well, it was uh, in a very local tournament in uh, in Egypt. It was when I was like uh, eight years old. We uh, we used to, to organize like uh, very small tournaments in, in our club and uh, at that time, uh, I think it was 1999, uh, 1989 and uh, uh, I played with him, I was, I was so nervous to, to participate in the very first uh, event and uh, thank God I won that. Well, uh, the best moment uh, when I uh, reached the, the number one spot, uh, I think it's, it's, uh, it's the, the dream of any athlete to reach the, the top of the game and that was in, uh, in the year 2008 uh, after uh, beating uh, Amr Shabana in uh, the quarterfinals of the Saudi Open and after that I became the world number one it was uh, yeah, the biggest uh, moment of my life. Well the best venue when I played uh, at the pyramids uh, back home in Egypt uh, that was in um, last time uh, in 2006 I think uh, it's a great venue it's um, yeah, every every like squash player would would love to play there. It's it's a dream for, for any squash player, and uh, thank God I uh, I made it there at the pyramids, and uh, I really hope that we can make it again. There. Okay, Jahangir Khan was was one of my uh, my heroes. I uh, I used to, to to look up to, and uh, he's, a, he's a great uh, player uh, on and off court, and uh, yeah, I think uh, he's one of the greatest uh, squash players ever. Well, I, I love uh, seafood. Uh, it's, it's my favorite uh, dish, uh, like whatever, uh, shrimps, uh, fish, whatever, I, I love seafood. And thank God my, uh, my wife is a good cook and uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm a bit lucky. Uh, otherwise, I would eat um, like any Egyptian food. Uh, there is a, a dish called the molokhaya. Uh, it's a typically Egyptian food. I, I love it as well. I love the, the athlete's life. Um, the professional uh, life, I, I love it and um, I wouldn't imagine myself doing uh, something else. Uh, I wouldn't imagine myself uh, sitting on a, in an office for, uh, for like seven or eight hours uh, uh, doing my job, but uh, yeah, I, I love what I'm doing and I wouldn't imagine myself doing something else.